Howdy, howdy everybody out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to another card review. So here's our card review box. This is a Slow Hands half brick box that we won from Cure Gomes many moons ago. So let's take a look at the goodies that we have inside here. We only have two decks left to review. Only two before we gotta go buy more. So let's go ahead and take a look. I think we're gonna do the old Mandalorians today. Very nice. So these, these are, let's take a look, from Theory 11. Can't go wrong with some Theory 11. Yeah, very nice. First, th first thing we like to do is we like to get rid of the top part into the garbage because we have one of those. And then we'll take a look at the seal. So it looks like we've got Grugu, the child, on the seal. Kind of shiny. You can kind of see it there. The Mandalorian. Don't worry, you're not going to hear me say Baby Yoda, except for when I say I'm not going to say it. We're going to, let's see if we can get the, the tool, the tool, Hacha. There we go. Safety first, safety first. So looking at the box, let's take a look. So we got Grugu here. Been a little bit. I'm still working on season two. I know I'm behind. That's okay though. Disney, Lucas Films. Take this down a little bit. You can kind of see the back design there. Okay. And there's the front. So let's go ahead and open them up here. Very nice. I love seeing stuff on the inside of the tuck. That is the ship. We've also got little accents on the shoulders there. And the inside is patterned, so keep that in mind. The inside is patterned. You can, it's just more of that there. Beautiful box overall. I'm, I'm always impressed with the artwork of the Theory 11 boxes. So taking a look at the back of the cards. Beautiful. We do have some jokers. Very nice. There is Grugu, or the child, in his little pod. And you can see that there is a little bit of a different format to the pips. Take a look here. Again, I'm not I'm not as familiar with the characters from Mandalorian. I've only watched the first season and I'm not really I just watched it. It was fun. Take a look at those. Nice little power pip. Oh, it's actually got um, a person on there. Diamonds are nice. Let's see. Yep, go ahead and always comment down below who the characters are on each of the things. Let's see, do I have the wrong? There's that, there's that, and there's that. Oh, I see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's too many of them. There you go. Oof. That was Bill Barr, Bill Barr, Bill Burr, Bill Burr, I think, <laughs> the comedian. Um, this one, he's the robot. I dropped it. Wowzers. <laughs> Let's take a look at these ones. See if I can find that real quick. He's right here. King of Diamonds. Very nice. Let's get through this here. And, oh, Ace there. Looks like a trooper. Hearts. There's the Mandalorian. And I'm curious if there's an extra card, because Theory 11 is known for putting extra cards in. Let's see. We have the Ace. And, there, well, there's a couple of extra cards here. <laughs> oh, buddy. Looks like we got something going on here. What's this? Theory 11 produces the world's finest playing cards, the ultimate high-end luxury playing cards. Theory 11. Wowzers. What? <laughs> and that is, uh, this is the way. <laughs> so that was, a, that was a very nice little changeover to this is the way. So basically just some ad cards that are have some nice niceties on there. Some aces. I like them. So how do they feel? 
Ooh, they've actually got a really fine stock to them. Theory 11 usually is smooth, but these feel a little thinner for some reason. I like them. That's like out of the box. So here's the way I here's the way I usually find refine the uh, the terminology. So basically, you have like a chunky deck, which is something you have to work in. Uh, obviously, obviously, if it's bad quality, it's bad quality. But you got the thicker stock that requires some work around, and then you've got the out of the box stuff, which you can just kind of manipulate and handle right out of the box. And this kind of fits into that. I would almost say it's very similar, similar to the stock that's used with the first playing cards, the thinner stock. But overall, that's nice. Perfect. Okay. So there's some Theory 11 Star Wars. <laughs> the Mandalorian playing cards. I didn't forget, I just had to look at it. <laughs> Beautiful. I like them. I like them. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See if we can do a nice little riffle. Very nice. So if you like what you see here, go ahead and subscribe. Yeah. Costs nothing. You just subscribe. Maybe a little click of the button there. And you get to see more awesome videos just like this. You get to see other card reviews of magic. And, you know, and if you want to join, we do have a members where we do tutorials as well as in-depth reviews into more magic-oriented playing cards and props for only 99 cents a month. But don't worry. Don't worry. You can find cards just like this down below. Yeah, just go down below. There's a little link that takes you to Amazon. I do get a little commission if you purchase through my link. But don't worry, I explain everything right down at the bottom. If you click on the link within 24 hours, if you shop on Amazon through that link, I get I get a commission. Just helps out the channel. So it sends you to the playing card section. You can just browse through there and take a look. There's also a camera section and lighting and magic books, just in case you want to get into doing some magic. So yeah, there's some fun stuff. So go ahead and click the buttons. Click all the buttons. We're just going to keep playing with cards. I have to click the off button at some point, but that's what's going to happen. If you don't want to leave the video, you could, of course, click right here at the end. We're going to go ahead and put a little bubble up here that says subscribe. And over here, we're going to have a video that's going to have, yes, the best video for you. So go ahead and click one of these, and we'll see you next time.